Chapter Twelve, Badger, Mr. Fox, and the three remaining small foxes dug fast and straight. They were all too excited now to feel tired or hungry. They knew they were going to have a waking great feast before long, and the fact that it ha- was no none other than buggies chickens they were going to eat made them chuckle with laughter every time they thought of it. It was lovely, lovely to realize that while the f- fat farmer was sitting up there on the hill, waiting for them to starve. He was also giving their them their dinner without knocking it, knowing it. Keep digging," said Mr. Fox. "It's not much farther." All of a sudden, a deep voice above their heads said. Who goes there? The foxes jumped. They looked up quickly, and they saw peeking through a small hole in the roof of a tu- of the tunnel, a long, black pointed furry face. Badger! cried Mr. Fox. Foxes! cried Badger. My goodness me! I'm glad I found someone at last. I've been digging around in cir- circle for three days and nights. I have, haven't the foggiest idea where I am. Badger made the hole in the ceiling bigger and dropped it down beside the foxes. A small badger, his son, dropped it down after him. Haven't you beard what's happening up on the hill? Badger said excitedly. It's Charles. Half the wood has disappeared, and there are men with guns all over the countryside. None of us can get out, even at night. We're all starving to death. Who is we? asked Mr. Fox. All us diggers. That's me and Mole and Rabbit and all our wives and children, even Wheels, Weasel, who can usually sneak out of the tightest spots, is right now hiding down my hole with. Mrs. Wallace and six kids. What on earth are you? Are we going to do, Foxy? I think we're finished. Mr. Fox looked at his three children and he smiled. The children smiled back at him, sharing his secret. My dear old badger, he said. This mess you're in is all my fault. I know it's your fault," said Badger, ferociously. "And the farmers are not going to give up till they've got you. Unfortunately, that means us as well. It means everyone on the hill." Badger sat down and put a. Paw around his small son. We're done for," he said softly. "My poor wife up there is a weak. She can't dig another yard."